Hello guys, we are going to be doing a beer review in today's video, but we're going to play darts while we do it, and this is actually one of the beers from our No Hype Beer Review collaboration. We did a beer trade with No Hype Beer Reviews here on YouTube. His name is Kyle, and he's a, fantastic, he's a fantastic channel. So basically, we sent him six Michigan beers that we selected. We handpicked them. I tried to pick stuff that I thought he would actually like. I, I watch his channel. Um, I'm a regular viewer of his channel, so I kind of felt like I knew what his flavor profile was. Um, for us, Dana is a IPA, double IPA kind of a person, and I am a stout and porter kind of a lady. So we kind of tried to divide it. There was like three of each styles for him, I think. Yep. And then we tried to be ultra local. Like some of them are not distributed um, across the U.S. or even across Michigan. So yeah, not mainstream kind of like we were trying to be like definitely something he'd never seen. He tried to do the exact same thing for us, except for they are New York beers. There's only one that he sent us that's an import, but it's imported through New York. So we're gonna do really one in cool. each video. It's gonna be six total videos, at least that's the plan right now. And uh, our first beer is one that I think Dana will highly appreciate. I hope that I like it, but I think it's, it's definitely more something that he picked knowing that Dana would like it, because he knew that we were divided. So this one is E Pluribus. E Pluribus? E Pluribus something. I tried pronouncing it on the live like stream. Speculum. Yeah, and I felt like an speculum. idiot. I, I feel like I know how to say it, but I hate pronouncing things wrong. Lupulin is a type of hop, I think. Speculum. Um, speculum speculorum. So double IPA. It's a fun fact we should know about. It's an IPA, American double. Are you wanting to look it up? Gun Hill Brewing Company. Yes. Where's Gun Hill Brewing Company? Okay, and I guess this does matter. I just looked it up on Untapped. This is number six, and there is like up to a number ten for this series. Gun Hill Brewing Company. It is a Imperial Double, 9.3% ABV, and not many ratings. So this one's very, very local, which I appreciate. It's the Bronx, New York. It's a microbrewery. Only been rated by 82 people. Yeah. Um, rotating double IPA series, hopped with Galaxy, Waymay, and... Uh, Equinox. So Waymay and Equinox hops we are not super familiar with, so that's going to be really interesting. Um, I 100% will not like this. I can just tell you right now, based on the hop notes they have in here, hoppy, citrus, dank, bitter, and resinous. Nope, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to like it. <laughs> I'm thinking this is going to be a big no for me. I thought Lupulin was a style of hop. It is not. What it says here is that it is a bitter yellowish powder found on angular hairs beneath the scales of flowers of the female hop plant. So it is part of the hop plant, but it is meant to make this more bitter and add a different color. I'm gonna give Dana more than my give myself because I already can tell you right now he's probably gonna end up drinking mine. And I'm going to try to be open, but I just don't know that I want to be. Okay, it's very active carbonation. I did kind of at first aggressively pour this, you know, so that wasn't intentional. It's kind of cool. I'm definitely keeping these cans, Kyle. Light for a double. Yeah, it's very like see through. Like usually they're not so opaque. Is it dank? It is, it is. That's a good way to describe it. Well. Dank delicious. It's citrusy, but it's a salty citrusy. Yeah. So kind of like a like an orange caught into an ocean wave. Yeah, like uh, you soak your orange no, in ocean. No. Well oh, there's there's an ah. there's like a tangerine orange like Don't mind me guys, I'm just throwing um, up behind the camera. <laughs> grapefruit smell. No. Which you would expect. You're drinking all this. And then there's also like a salty brine smell. Or a dank smell, I guess, uh, if, if you want to call it. I'm unsettled. Um, Please just drink it. It's different. It's really interesting. It doesn't... I expected to get a big old taste of just brine. And it's not that way at all. It's actually very lively and refreshing. The finish is kind of... There is some salt in it. You can, you can taste that saltiness. But it's got a, a subtle tangerine taste almost somewhere in there. It's really good. Cause I, it's I don't beer. like, babe, it's a double IPA. I don't barely like IPA, so double that. It's not double the IPA, double the fun, it's double the, it smells to me, I smell pineapple. I smell, like I'm smelling like that kind of a citrus. 
Yeah, I smell pineapple, but I'm trying to think of something. It's like a specific type of, oh, peaches. I smell peaches, like canned peaches. Oh, I'm hoping that it's fruity and subtle and not bitter at all. It's, it, I mean, I didn't think it was very bitter. Okay. Oh, I mean, um, okay, so let me explain it this way. That is not the worst beer I've ever had. And something about it reminds me of um, Bell Smitten. And also something about it reminds me of All Day IPA. Because of the way the bitterness is. Like it hits you right at the end, it kind of slowly develops, and then bam, it's bitter. So in that regard, it reminds me of those beers. More for Dana. I'll drink it. So I'm, I hope I'm not offending you, Kyle. Like I love the can of the beer. It's not the worst beer ever, but this is definitely more of a, a Dana beer uh, on this one. So... <sighs> He's appreciating you hardcore right now. It's interesting. It is different. It, it has even a different mouthfeel than a Michigan double IPA does. Yep. In my opinion. But I don't have anything else really to say. Though. I think we should play darts. Okay. okay. We're warming up and there has not been enough beer Let's consumed. be honest. We don't warm up. You might warm up. I just try not to hit the wall. I'm good on accident. Oh, is this yours? There's too much in it. It can't be mine. There's no way. I was like, I can't commit to that. <laughs> that's a three, it's a two, and that's a six. Well, no, that's a 17. That's a triple 17. You gonna do some stretching? Really get your championship ready? No. No, you don't have any dart stretches no, for us? If I was good, I would have shot triple 20 three times. Whatever. That would actually be great. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Just once. I was not aiming for this location. This is ridiculous. How do you feel about it? Well, I mean, I... Oh well. Dana's not done yet because he's savoring it and I'm sucking at darts, but I actually tried last round and I got only sevens. And the wall. What is your like ending reaction to having the whole well, thing? Well, when I think of double IPA, I think of a certain type of a double IPA. Michigan type. Yeah, and it's it's usually a little bit heavy. This was not heavy at all. It was very light. Yeah. Um, and it was nine point three, so it was still a good ABV. Still had kind of that double IPA kick to it. Right. This was a very light, lighter density, vibrant I double IPA. I enjoyed tasting it. It was good. Really quick, we want to draw some attention to our description box. If you don't know No Hype Beer Reviews, we'll link him down below. He's also going to be in some of the cards you've seen throughout this video. Um, he did the unboxing of ours. And thank you so much for watching this beer review. Make sure if you haven't already, hit subscribe. It's the red button down below. Go look at it. It's really cute. And then <laughs> leave us a comment. Yep. And then take your can opener and pop the like tab. Yeah. Don't don't hurt the bell anymore. It's been through enough. Just pop yeah, just the tab on it. Notified of all of our videos, even the special surprise ones that happen on weekends. Yep. Or two in the morning. You never know. Yeah. I mean, really. See, I mean, I don't sleep that well, so it's possible. Thank you and cheers. Cheers. Okay. This is where we're sitting right now. Let's just ignore this number here because it's just kind of a joke at this point because I'm not going to win, but he's only one bull, bullseye's throw away from me right now. If I close this, I close everything first and he just beat me because of this number. I'm watching you. We are watching you. Us, you guys here are watching him too.